Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Tuesday, November 21st at 8.56 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. You're looking at the albedo update for November 21st. This is a current map. Snow and ice. You're going to notice that there is a consistent building of white. This is not getting greener. Still four weeks out from winter. Um, and this is resulting in record cold. We're going to be talking about it. Terrace standard update. Snowfall upgraded to 40 centimeters by Wednesday evening. Latest storms expected to bring wet snow and freezing rain. Guys, check out what happened in British Columbia. Terrace recovering from Saturday's 105-year record daily snowfall. Boom! Environment Canada has upgraded their snowfall warning again with up to another 40 centimeters of snow Wednesday evening. Buried, can you say albedo? Grand solar minimum much? The storm falls short Saturday's 57 centimeter snowfall. It's going to be messy on the roads. Based on Environment Canada's data kept since 1912, last weekend's snowfall shattered the previous November 18th record. Set back in 1986 of just 11, a measly 11.4 centimeters. Saturday's accumulation was ridiculously significant. Grand solar minimum much. Terrace, you guys are going to get buried again on Wednesday. Week of snow sets two daily records in Fort St. John. Whew. Gosh, what's going to happen in the winter? Nothing throws the notion of fall fully out the window and buried out of sight than Two new snowfall records. Boom! So if shoveling 47.1 centimeters of snow that fell between November 13th and 20th wasn't enough to send you to the chiropractor, how about this for some heavy lifting? Nearly half of it came on November 14th and 19th. The first record was broken on November 14th when almost 12 centimeters fell, breeding, beating the previous daily record of 10.4 set back in 1966. And the second was broken on November 19th. Whew, a lot of records. I used to collect records. Resorts open Friday after historic snowfall. Jackson Hole, boom. Jackson Hole's Mountain Resort groomers a month before winter are like, what the f is going on after historic early season snowfall jackson hole mountain resort is pushing its opening day why not cash the cash in cash cow free kale storm buries cars one meter of hail and turns beach white in mersin turkey hmm. guys this is directly related to cosmic rays and that's why the rest of this video is dedicated to cosmic ray flux its effects on the earth the atmosphere and volcanoes so stay tuned this is not i mean this is the third meter deep hailstorm in two months i i've never heard of any <laughs> welcome to the grand solar minimum this is not snow it is hail and on november 19th the hailstorm was so severe that it buried cars in one meter of hailstones some parts of the city of merson were literally blocked by enormous hail accumulations look at this amazing footage now it hails quickly here and it uh last w summer in june it hailed like eight inches and collapsed a bunch of structures but this a meter boom that is some crazy stuff i will leave you links to all this as per usual serious temperature anomaly in parts of siberia remember the uh albedo update in the beginning here not only is it causing a record shattering 10 times snowfalls here in british columbia but this is all the same winter polar vortex pattern and in siberia oh dear serious temperature anomaly in parts of siberia russia adapt 20 30 years ago was talking about these cold plasmas coming in from space and this is one of those cold plasmas the, the type that froze the uh mammoths with food in their mouths a siberian high also known as a siberian anticyclone caused serious temperature anomaly central siberia on november 18th causing the average daily temperatures to drop 10 to 12 degrees c below the climatic norm 
boom. Look at these temperatures in Yakutia, Russia. The nighttime dropping to minus 42, which is minus 43.6 Fahrenheit on the 19th. Kluchk and Tompo, the temperatures dropped to minus 44, minus 47.2 Fahrenheit. In Neary, minus 46C, minus 50.8 Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's chilly. <coughs> in Denyakir and Olomyamukong. Man, read about this. It's only going to get colder. This is the beginning of the cold. Cosmic ray flux causes cloud nucleation <coughs> in a particular part of the atmosphere, which the rain is formed. And uh, we've been seeing atmospheric rivers and record flooding at epic rates. Heavy rain wreaks havoc across Jeddah in Saudi Arabia in the desert. <laughs> this is in the desert. Saudi Arabia much? Guys, you know about the Sphinx uh, nonsense. That puppy was made, carved probably 30,000 years ago. Because in the desert, it used to rain like this about during the last ice age. And that was over 12,000 years ago at the peak. So the same thing is happening again here. This is part of the beginning of the Heinrich event. We'll cover that in future videos. So we have major cosmic ray flux causing atmospheric rivers and heavy flooding across the world. Dramatic flash floods kill two directly after in two west Nusa Tegara in Indonesia. I'll leave you links to this. I don't like to show videos of people dying, so we won't be looking at that. But cosmic ray flux also results in bubble muons. So I'll leave you links to this. Cosmic solar radiation is the cause of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, as well as the paper. Explosive volcanic eruptions triggered by cosmic rays, volcano as a bubble chamber. And if we go right here live to the neutron monitors, you can see a massive cosmic ray flux increase in the last 24 hours. On many of these charts, up to 3%, while increasing continuously the whole time. Now that's going to result in an uptick in volcanic activity, which we have today. Erupting at a gong again, and they sent the people back here. There's a small-scale phreatic eruption starting at uh, a gong volcano. I'll leave you links to this. It's only going to get worse if these monitors continue to go up. <clears throat> so it's a heads up for Agung and other volcanoes. If we quick come look at the seismic map, and we'll come over here to our little volcano zone in North America, it's where I live, I'm down here. So you could see the seismic uptick here at our volcanoes here, Rainier and St. Helens. As predicted by these papers that are cutting edge guys so if you don't know about it get deep and read them because we're reporting on the actual science of what's happening during this grand solar minimum so here's the predicted output of the sun watts per square meter the total solar irradiance decreasing continuously cmip6 this is the current, most recent model. This is a global warming nonsense model version. I'm going to go with the CMIP6 to it fits my model, which is based on historic facts, including the sun. So the next two cycles, it's only going to get worse. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I get to them all, guys. You know, this research takes time, but sometimes we have fun. This is our Patreon page. If you don't know about it, give us support here. We're looking for 500 members. I'm getting paid about a dollar an hour to do this work currently, and I'd like, you know, maybe $2 an hour would be nice. We took a trip to the geothermal greenhouse that I'm working on. I volunteer a lot of my time here with this program, and we just got completely funded to finish this entire vision. And I take you inside of one of them where we're doing a soil restoration project. And it also features Jim, the electrician, who came out here to help us 
on this project. So guys, please get involved as a patron as little as a buck a month and come check out the video and get inside a geothermal greenhouse that's right on the San Juan River here, tapped into the deepest hot spring in the world. And check out the video. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. The Cosmic Ray Flux is on the uptick. I'll leave you links to these real-time monitors because you, you can watch yourself and predict um, earthquakes and volcanic uptick on your own just simply based on this straight up ramp. When you see cosmic rays falling off like this and then ramp up, you're looking for either a large earthquake or a large volcanic eruption. And we're seeing a gung erupting. Hope you got something out of the video, guys. Cosmic rays on the increase. Be safe.